Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial from LearnEnroute.com. Today I'm excited to show you some of the pre-release features and tools the programmers at Enroute have been working hard to bring you. Our newest module in the Enroute line is Enroute Fabrication, which has an optimized interface and toolset aimed specifically towards our plasma, laser, and water jet users. Many of these new features will be rolled out to the entire line, so even if you're not a fabrication user, these clips will give you a glimpse of what's to come. Since this is a pre-release version, some of the dialogues and toolbars locations may change, but don't worry, I'll have another batch of movies done by then. In this clip, I want to show you some of the new and exciting features we have added to nesting. The first thing I want to do is go down to my shape wizard and fly it out and let's make a few shapes that we're going to use for our nesting. And, and the nice thing about the shape wizard is it actually defaults to the last tool you used, so I'm going to go to lift lug lizard wizard, <clears throat> say that ten times fast, and put a lift lug in there, click apply, close this down, let me grab these two and group them. And one of the interesting things about the new nester is you want to have your parts off the plate because we're able to do things to the plate and include them in. So when you're nesting right now, you want to make sure your objects are nested off the plate. Now you can draw them on the plate. Just make sure before you go into the nesting tool that you move them off the plate. You'll see why in a bit. So let's see, lift lug wizard. Let's do a, a secondary one. That's okay. Again, close this. Grab it, group them, move it over, and let's do one more. Uh, yeah, bolt hole circle is always fun. That looks good there. Click apply. And if you guys have not used the uh, the new uh, shape wizard, uh, it's pretty interesting. Again, with the unified lower uh, dialog box here, I can create. Uh, shapes uh, particularly aimed at uh, this this group is particularly aimed at the fabrication a lot of folks need to create these kind of lugs and and bolt hole circles and here you've got full control I can basically tell it how many number how many holes I want to have in the bolt hole circle outer radius uh, where the centers are inner radius and the whole diameter so it's it uh, really works well and if you're doing this uh, different types of holes you can even save the different shapes uh, as you go along so it's a it's a it's a nice tool a handy tool and you can go check out my video on working with the shape wizard directly if you want to find out more information so again I'm just going to close that out grab the whole object and group them together and let's just move this out to this side and all I'm going to do now is hit control a on my keyboard and uh, bring up all the objects are now selected and I'm going to go to my nesting tool now again this is sort of in the uh, pre-release toolbar this is probably going to be over here with the standard nesting but uh, with this with my uh, my executable here that I have that's just the standard nesting that everybody has right now and this is the new and improved nester so I'm going to use this button click OK and the first thing you'll notice is that we now have the nester down at the bottom, but it's changed, and we have all the different nesting uh, options uh, all together in one dialog box. So again, one of the points that the programmers have been trying to do is consolidate and bring all the toolbars, as much things that we can, under one dialog, just to keep things a little bit more linear and flowing and improve your workflow. So. What we've got now is since they're selected, they're all coming up as purple, and I can now actually pick quantities if I want. And let's just for the simple thing right now, let's say I'm going to pick this object. So notice the other two change color, and I'm now specifically working on that object there. And I can change how many I want of this. Now, priority lets you change the way the nester stacks these things in and this is one of the places in Enroute that they've really listened to user feedback and folks want to have a little bit more control about what gets placed where in the automatic nester so the lower the priority number so number one would be the but the primary pr order uh, the lower the number 
the uh, sooner it will get nested and it'll keep working its way around. So that's a pretty uh, interesting, powerful feature here. And so I'm going to leave it at 5 for right now for this part of the demonstration. And we've got gap. Now notice I haven't put toolpaths on this, and so I'm just setting a gap of 0.2 for now. If you had toolpaths on, you could set the gap at 0, uh, and the points will not touch. Margin, again, is for the edge of the sheet. Uh, so if you want to keep away from the edge of the sheet or the plate of material, you can set a margin. I'm going to leave it at 0. Uh, I can now pick if I want to nest the originals which will just take that and put it in and another nice thing is it'll actually show you where the originals are in the nest if you're doing a multiple part of the nest I can nest over multiple sheets again and uh, we can create remnant and create summary now I'll get back to those here in a minute when we uh, talk a little bit deeper on the details so I'm gonna set, leave the step angle set to 90 degrees and uh, just for the speed of the of the uh, setup here if I wanted to I could tell it to go all the way down to one degree and and what that step angle is telling in route is how many permutations do I check if at 90 degrees it'll rotate this thing 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees to see what the best fits going to be if I tell it to do one degree it's gonna do one degree increments all the way around looking for the best fit 90 degrees going to take less time to do than one degree so you can play around and get the right uh, setups and angles that you need and here we're actually picking the new nester now we've got over the years we've had a few different kinds of nesters and I'm sure the terminology here will change because uh, standard is what currently we're calling advanced nesting. Legacy is the standard nesting of what we call. But for these features, we're going to stick with the new because that's, uh, that's really the, the uh, point of this whole video is to show you the new features. But if you have systems where you're happy with the way the old nesters are working, we're giving you a way to drop back into the old ways of working because if it ain't broke don't fix it so uh, if you're happy with one of those you can simply go back and revert to it and finally here you can see that the dialogue of of where which way it's going to pack the nest has changed a little bit for you too uh, one interesting feature is you can actually have it multiple places so if I wanted to pack to the corners of this I could simply click on all four corners but for right now I'm just gonna deselect all of them and I'm just going to pack it to the left hand side and um, let's move the priority of this down a little bit let's say we're going to make this a number one and let's go to our next part and mm, let's say we want four of those it, it's always going to default back down to the priority or order of five and the quantity will always reset to one so that's something that when you're working with this nester you always want to check your quantity and your priority so I'm gonna say four there and we're gonna bring that to three and then finally I'm gonna pick my bolt hole circle and I'm gonna leave that at quantity one priority order four and we run this and you can see that with this particular plate with three parts in there there's not enough room because I set the priority lower for this so it made sure it nested those out first you can also see here that NRoute showing you which one are the originals that the the originals have been picked and they're highlighted these are all copies that has been created so let's say I really do want to get this in here and and these these lifting lugs are not as important as my bolt hole circle so how do I do that well it's pretty simple I'm just gonna revert back go back to my nesting tool and this time I'm gonna grab the bolt hole and uh, bring that up to quantity one priority one and let's grab this and we're gonna say quantity three and I'll put this at uh, priority three and let's grab this guy and say I want five or six of those doesn't really matter leave the priority at five click apply and now you see since I moved the priority up of the bolt hole circle it fit everything else in this is this is subtle but it's a very nice feature and you got a lot of control over how the parts nest onto the sheet and which parts get nested first 
and where they get nested. So it's a very nice, they've really improved this interface and made it quite usable and controllable. Um, I think you're going to have a good time working with it.